Oh, get in. That's a lovely effort, that one. That's a handy putt to make. That so well, hello, my friends. Welcome back. As you can tell, I've still <laughs> got this plague of a flu, man. My God, <laughs> just hanging on. This is absolute diesel. This crap. But anyway, I'm going to run out of air here, so... Here we are at the uh, Corn Ferry Classic Round 3 finale today where hopefully we <laughs> wrap this up and move on to our next course. So we're small improvements, starting to make more than we're missing, but uh, it's definitely a learning curve. So lots of fun and games, but please do join me, won't you? And uh, let's just see how bad of a golfer I really are. <laughs> 2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Look, this player starts off the final round a couple behind the lead. And let's face it, they need to have some inspiring golf out there today. They need to make birdies early and often if they want to chase down that leader. It sets up for a very exciting final round. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Well, that's a handy shot. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That one's headed right and staying right. Yeah, well played. This one's for birdie. That's disappointing. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Oh, that's a clutch par. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Currently plus 10 now for the event. This hole is a par five. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Nothing good out to the right. This is in trouble. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. Now that's a poor lie. Will he be able to get out of here? Yeah, this is not what they wanted. There might be a couple of hits here. Well, the putt is going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Yeah, I think he pulled that one. Pretty obvious, actually. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Yep, tracking nicely. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. Well, that'll avoid a number of drop shots. Well hole. Currently at 11 over for the event. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Here we are at the third.
Looks to be going with the six iron. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. A chance to save the par if you can make this one. Ah, that's frustrating. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. They'll be happy to get this in the hole. This for bogey. And that putter's hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Currently 12 over for the tournament. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. Wow, what a shot. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. That's a good way to bounce back from the drop shot at the last hole. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Going with the eight iron here. It's been a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully you can change it here. This for a birdie birdie run. Ooh, right by the hole. That'll sting a bit. Putting for a par now. Oh, just missed. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. Trying to forget the bogey on the last as they step onto the tee. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. And what's in front of them there, Henny? This is down breeze, so it's going to be tough to stop it on this green. And this one headed in the wrong direction, out to the right. Yeah, nicely played. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 26 feet from the cup. Oh, get in. That's a lovely effort, that one. That's a handy putt to make. 
That shot's so good, we need to have another look. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Some lovely momentum for this player, moving up the leaderboard. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Opting for the five wood. Four right. That's not the outcome they were after. You know, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. <laughs> Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. was a gallant attempt. This is a bogey putt coming up. And that's a little disappointing. Dropping some spots on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That's tidy. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Not taking enough club to get it there. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. And a par putt awaits him. Looking better. That's a good putt to make, that one. Sitting at 12 over for the event. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. From around 220 yards. Looks like they've got the five wood. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Oh, well played. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage.
Lovely effort, that. Second shot here at the 10th. That's going to find the water, sadly. Time now for the fourth shot. Well, Rich, you think they're going to make this one? Luke, I, I really don't think this is going to happen, but you know what? I've been wrong before, and it could happen again. This next part is for bogey. Ah, that's annoying. You should make that. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Going with the pitching wedge here. Handy effort, that one. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Luke, I, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Opting for the five iron. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Yeah, wind took that one offline in a hurry. This putt is about eight feet. Now this one, this is important. This for par. That will work. Sitting at 13 over for the event. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Around 110 yards to go. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Oh, absolutely flushed. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Just didn't drop. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. It was on a good line. This one's for bogey. 
Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Sitting at 14 over for the event. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Definitely needs to make a move on the field, and this is a golden opportunity on the short par four. What will they do? No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Yeah, good job. Nice par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We've arrived at a par four. Ah, that's a little untidy. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Looks like they have a good lie here in the second cut. Going with the five iron here. Well, that's not ideal. Finding the trees. And here we are with the third shot. Wind's blowing from left to right. I'm gonna try and hold it against the wind. Uh-oh, this one leaking out to the right. Four against the wind to stick that one. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Ouch, that hurts. Let's try and make this one. And only drop the one shot. He looked to have pulled that one. Just a short putt remaining here. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Chance here to reclaim a bit of focus after that double at the last. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine That's nine. heading into the rough, I think. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. And coming up well short. <laughs> this putt for par here. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just three feet to the cup. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. And unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff.
Oh, that was pure. A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. This has eyes for the hole. Bit quick in the stroke. That look pulled. Terrific shot. Almost an eagle. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's head to the final hole of this round. good shot there this one from about 160 yards out ah, that's out to the right for sure that's not the shot they're after getting ready to play their third All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. And that'll wrap things up for him here at this tournament. No victory, but certainly plenty of experience to be gained from that performance. Always something to learn in this game, and hopefully this player has learned a lot. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. Well, clearly lost. <laughs> uh, we can only go up from here, eh? <laughs> Lots of room for improvement. Anyway, thank you all for sticking with me through this. We'll see you in the next one, yeah? Bye for now.